morning students in last lecture we have studied pollinating agents definition and types of pollinating agents pollinating agents are the agents or agencies which help in the process of pollination the pollinating agents are of two types that is abiotic pollinating agents and number two biotic pollinating agents abiotic pollinating agents are the non living agents or physical agents such as wind and water while the biotic agents these are the living agents which includes insects then birds and bats and accordingly we classify the pollination in different types such as pollination with the help of wind which is termed as anemophily pollination with the help of water termed as hydrophily pollination with the help of insects is termed as entomophily pollination with the help of birds is termed as ornithophily and pollination with the help of bat is termed as chirophily so these are the various agents and types of pollination for board examination it is important to remember these terms in board examination question may be asked in mcqs or one sentence answer questions such as pollination with the help of wind pollination with the help of water and so on these terms are uh, asked in mcqs and in one sentence answer questions now we have to study each and every agent and type of pollination number 1 is anemophily anemophily the pollination with the help of wind is termed as anemophily animal means wind and freely means living or living or attract the plants and the flowers we show such type of pollination the pollination takes place with the help of wind then such flowers are termed as anemophilous flowers anemophilous flowers anemophilous plants these plants includes such as sugar cane then various grasses maize jowar rice and so on so these are the examples of anemophily in this plant pollination takes place with the help of wind such type of pollination is most common and it is primitive type of pollination it is primitive type of pollination these anemophilous flowers or these anemophilous plants shows some adaptations adaptations for anemophily now what are these adaptations and why these adaptations are developed by these plants okay in these plants pollination takes place with the help of wind and wind is the non living agent it is physical agent and accordingly 
it develops adaptations so the first adaptation is or the character is the flowers flowers are small flowers are small then colorless inconspicuous flowers are small colorless inconspicuous they are without fragrance without fragrance and without nectar okay. the formation of fragrance and nectar such adaptations are present in uh, the plants which show pollination with the help of living agents but in anemophily in wind pollinated condition there is no requirement of production of fragrance and nectar then the pollen grains pollen grains are produced in large quantity pollen grains are produced in large quantity now why these pollen grains are produced in large quantity because during the process of transfer of pollen grains by wind there is chance of wastage of pollen grains and hence pollen grains are produced in large number or large quantity these pollen grains are very small it is tiny very small then dry and light in weight they are light in weight so that this pollen grains can be uh, smoothly or easily carried by wind then in these flowers the stigma is stigma is feathery stigma is feathery like this stigma is feathery to catch the pollen grains to catch the pollen grains carried by the wind similarly in these plants these stamens stamens are with long filament stamens are with long filament and with versatile anther like this anther anthers are versatile that is they can swing freely in air to disperse the pollen grains then the reproductive holes that is the stamen and gynoecy or especially anther and stigma are well exposed okay so these are the adaptations present in anemophilous flowers okay the first type is anemophily now the second one is second one pollination with the help of water pollination with the help of water is termed as hydrophilic hydrophilic pollination with the help of water these flowers are termed as hydro this flowers that is these plants are aquatic plants maybe submerged plants or free floating plants okay in these plants the flowers are 
flowers are small colorless flowers are small colorless similar to anemophily these are without nectar and without fragrance because the agent is non living agent then the floral parts floral parts are unwettable floral parts are unwettable and they are covered with covered with mucilage or covered with waxy substances okay the pollen grains pollen grains are needle like and without exine without exine okay now this hydrophil is of two types hydrophil is of two types it is hypohydrophil and epihydrophil number 1 is hypo hydrophil the name itself suggests that this pollination takes place takes place below the surface of water below the surface of water example zostera and ceratophyllum in this plants the pollen grains pollen grains are more in weight and they remain in the water they do not come on the surface of the water and pollination is completed in the water or the below the surface of water and second type is epihydrophil that is pollination takes place on the surface of water pollination is completed on the surface of water now what happens in these plants in these plants Now suppose surface of water of these plants like this. In these plants, the like this, it is female flower, female flower with long coiled long.
the pollen, the male flowers. These are the male flowers. These male flowers get detached from the parent plant and surrounds the female flower and pollination is completed. So, oh, okay, it is the epihydrophy and example is Valisneria. Example Valisneria. So, these are two types of pollinating agents and pollination that is anemophily and hydrophily. Now the another important pollinating agent is the insect which is termed as entomophily. Entomophily. Okay. Pollination with the help of insects is termed as entomophily. Now about 80% of pollination is carried out by insects such as honeybees. They help in pollination. These flowers are termed as Endomophilus flowers. Endomophilus flowers. Example jasmine, a rose, then sestrum. Okay. In these plants, pollination is completed with the help of insects. Now here agent is the living agent and so it shows various adaptations, entomophilus adaptations such as flowers. The flowers are large, then variously colored, flowers are large, variously color then attractive then conspicuous okay flowers are large color attractive and conspicuous then these flowers produce sweet smell or fragrance its smell or fragrance. It also produces nectar. The flowers produce fragrance and nectar. Then the pollen grains, pollen grains are produced in large number. Pollen grains are produced in large number. These pollen grains are wheat, wheat, spiny, enzyme, and also covered with yellow colored covering, which is termed as pollen kit. Then in these plants, this stigma is stigma is hair or sticky to attract the pollen grains carried by insects. In some plants, there is presence of additional adaptations such as such as corona in passion flowers, then Petaloid branch, petaloid branch in Bougainvillea. Okay. So these are the adaptations for insect pollination. In some plants, remember like plant like salvia 
in plants like salvia, there is presence of a special mechanism which is termed as which is termed as the lever mechanism. Liver mechanism or pollination. Okay. So these are the adaptations for insect pollination. Then next one is the pollination with the help of birds. Pollination with the help of birds, which is termed as Ornithophy. Ornithophy. Pollination with the help of birds. These flowers are termed as ornithophilus flowers. Example. Butia, then Bombax, then Calistemon, that is water brush. These are the examples of ornithophyte. In these plants, what are the adaptations? The flowers are flowers are large, then brightly colored, brightly colored, showy, brightly colored, showy, attractive, and the floral parts are thick. Floral parts are thick. Here also pollen grains, pollen grains are produced in large number. Then there is presence of large amount of nectar. Presence of nectar glands and they produce large amount of nectar, and this nectar is stored in like this flask shaped, flask shaped corolla. Okay, here is the nectar. These flowers lack. Because birds have poor sense of smell. So the birds such as hummingbird, then uh, crow, they help in pollination. That is the ornithophily. And last one is last one is pollination with the help of bat that is chirotherophy pollination with the help of bats now these plants these flowers are termed as chirotherophilus okay example Adansonia, then Kaijeria pinata, then Anthocephalus, which is termed as Kadam, Anthocephalus or Kadam. Now we know about bat, 
these bands are the nocturnal bats are nocturnal animals and hence these flowers are nocturnal that is night blooming flowers night blooming flowers these flowers are large stout enough and thick these floral parts are edible then edible pollen grains edible pollen grains and they produce copious nectar that is the large amount of nectar is produced by these flowers okay so these are various types of pollinating agents and the types of pollination on the basis of pollinating agents in board examination the question is asked like this what is anemophily explain it with suitable example or give adaptations for anemophily or endomophily or chirophily and so on thank you